again plus today i have a special video for you guys i'm actually working in, in two videos in total including the one that i'm recording right now you guys requested um how to set up the psp emulator the ppp sspp and also how to set up the playstation 2 emulator the play emulator i noticed that i've been putting videos out about uh, updates and stuff like that and some games running on the emulator but i never did a setup guide for those so and i have a couple of you guys that asked me about it so we're gonna be doing that today so expect to see in total two videos out uh, regarding that right now i'm gonna show you how to do the play the playstation 2 emulator uh, first of all you're gonna need to have also install if you haven't already i'm gonna have a link in the video description and also i'm um, gonna add a notification here that you're gonna see to the top right corner on um, how to set up play uh how to set up the all store in order to install these um emulators um also when you're watching that video that you're gonna see on the right i'm gonna have probably like a preview of the video so you guys can see which one i'm talking about i'm gonna have the thumbnail so you know which one is it and then also gonna be another notification uh, you can watch the whole video up to four minutes and showing you step by step how to install also i already did that video i don't want to include it in here because it's probably going to be a little bit cumbersome it's going to be way a longer video and the session plan to some of my videos is better if i get to the point so i'm just going to have that video there so you guys can see how to set that up so after you install our store you could actually go in here let me see if i have it here by default uh, let's see it's right here you could search right here on the top you could search for play uh wait it's, not, it's showing my different screen mask i'm sorry about this it's showing the other screen let me see but you could actually search for play let me go on. Uh, yep, it's showing in the other screen. So let me do, let me switch the screen so you guys can see it better. Let me see if I could do that right now. Close this right here. Let me open it in my other screen. So you go here. We go to browse. Search for play. for play enter it will take a while to show up here but this is usually where you find it i don't know why it's not loading properly let's see yep it's still loading in the background it has a little bit of a delay right now the way that i've been doing it that i'm going to show you real quick is by simply it's by simply going on the browser going to the play website you grab the latest version by clicking here on downloads you go on downloads then you're gonna pick the ios version right here to get the latest one you click on download and when that's downloaded it's basically the same way that i've been doing the upgrade so when you have the app already installed you don't need to delete it to install the new version you could actually install it on top of it it's like doing an update it's just like going to the app store and clicking update the app it's just gonna be overriding the app that is already installed that way you don't waste any of your licenses because we also you only have like around 10 licenses and they expire they renew after seven days so now that i downloaded the api i could go clicking here on our store i'm gonna go to my apps and you see right here that have the play in already installed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the plus sign right here on the top we're gonna click on the plus and then the latest one that i downloaded this is the recent one this is today's day it doesn't have anything on it so we're gonna click on play and it's gonna be doing installation so basically it's overriding on top of the app that is already installed which is basically doing an update this is how you do the update as well too you don't need to delete it because if you delete it you lose one of the licenses because you see right here uh, you have certain amount id remaining if you have zero you won't be able to install or update the app so basically you should gonna override it on top of it but the same one that i just show you 
that's the same way you, uh, how you're gonna install these emulators so you down uh, you could search it here on the play right now is um it's giving me some issues to search for it i don't understand why it's giving me that issue it's probably because i never added the um the services here but i know i have it on my iphone so if you don't see it here in the store you basically go here on sources and right here you're going to add the sources for the emulator so if you go on the page of the developer you're going to find those sources well right now it's not showing it here because i do not have those sources and so here i do have it on my iphone but you go on the play website you're going to find that source and from there you could grab the apis using all store the other way like i just showed you you go on the website like we always do we download the api you go to my apps after you go to my apps you go on the top here and browse and you're gonna you're gonna install the api you chose downloaded that's how you install the apps and also that's how you update the app so that's basically it but let me see something real quick in my computer because if it's not installing that's mean that uh it's having some it's not connected to my servers because that's why i want you guys to do before you watch this video make sure you watch that tutorial on how to uh, also set up because you need to use also to install all of this so please make sure you're watching that video first because that same way you install the apps again it's the same way you're going to be updating this app so make sure you follow those video so now let me go skip forward because this might take a while because it's still synchronizing with my service if anything let me see let me just double check let me close the app and run it again just in case there's some issues with it right now because it's a little bit laggy let me close it there we go go back to I'll store let me make sure and okay my apps we're gonna click on the plus sign here that's the latest version I downloaded it yeah it's still doing the same things probably because it's if you see that it's doing this it's either it's not properly connected to your all server or it's basically you installing the same version of the app but right now it's doing that to me because this is basically the latest version that I'm using. So you're going to see that error. But if you have like an older version, you click on the plus sign to install it after you download it from the website. It's going to be overwrite, overwriting the old version and updating the version. And if you don't have it installed, you choose uh, again. After you download it from the website, you go to my apps, click on the plus sign, look for the API, and that's how you install it. Now for setup for the app i don't have anything crazy in it but again you're gonna need also to install it and another thing to run this app many people are still doing the same mistakes over and over you need to have a jib in order to run this application so what a jib basically does is the following it will enable the app to function properly so if i go here and I click on play you see that it loaded my games and everything in here if I click on any games since I, if I don't have the jib running it will crash right now if I click on it it should be running because I'm connected to my also server let me see if it runs it's running right now because I'm connected to all store so let's say I do this right here let me close the app I'm gonna put my iPad on airplane mode so that way I'm not connected to my server. If you run the app, this is basically what happens when you run the app. When you don't have a JIT running, this is what happens. You open the app, you click on the game you have installed, it crashes. If you see that's happening, it's because you need to have a JIT running, either by using All Store or JIT Streamer. You enable JIT Streamer right here. You need to wait for the symbol that says VPN on the top. If you don't see that VPN symbol on the top, that means that you are not connected yet to the to the um, to the JIT streamer servers. So when you see the uh, the VPN symbol on the top, that means that you're good to go. So after you do that, you go to your shortcuts. You look for JIT streamer. You click on the JIT streamer. JIT streamer is gonna prompt you. 
is you're gonna run a app so you're gonna launch an app known to use jib and it's gonna check all the apps that you have siloed and it's gonna enable the jib and it's gonna run it for you so it's gonna open it for me if i click on here it's gonna launch play it take a few seconds there you go it launched play and now if i click on the game you're gonna see that the game is actually now running so the app is not crashing again that tutorial is gonna have it down below in the video description i also have an annotation right here and a screenshot so you can see the picture or the thumbnail for that video so that's basically how you set up uh the play emulator and how you also update the play emulator it's, it's very simple after you have all of those uh all of those down and now and now i can't provide you with any files for the game which is legal but if you have copies of your game the way that you put the games on it you could either use your computer or you could download it from let's say you have your game backed up in your google drive when you download those games you're gonna go to your file folder you're gonna go to my ipad you're gonna go to play and right here inside of these folders that's where you drop your games you drop your games in here and then after that when you run play play is going to automatically detect your games and it's going to show up here how you guys see right here on this screen it's going to show up your games right here and then automatically it's going to set up the artwork for your games so it's going to have it set up automatically for you so that's how you put the games if you do it through the computer you open itunes you click on your ipad you go you go on file transfer you click on play which is basically saying as this opening the folder of play through the itunes and then you just drop your games in here and that's how you transfer games in here for this emulator you are not gonna need a uh, bios file that's one of the biggest pluses this emulator has so like i've been saying this emulator has a lot of potential it shows the compatibility running the games that's the issue but so far that's all that you, you guys needed to do if you have any questions do not hesitate to leave it down below in the comments and also if you find the video helpful and informative please make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and also i'll see you guys in the next one